Introducing the latest CD from Holy Parodies and the Don't Worship This Way band. It's Wrong Worship. Do not take up the enchantments that are throughout the land. Do not take up the fantasies, the vanities, the fabricated tales. For I say you are not meant to be caught up in the inventions of men. You are not meant to be caught up in the gossip. But I say you are meant to be ever guided by me. Now I say when you look to that which goes on in the covering, the Jezebelian covering of Babylon's Jesus, I say the same is full of falsehood, delusion, and lies. And I say that men and women are chasing after fantasy, pursuing vanity day after day. And I say they do not walk soberly in the truth, they do not walk in the fear of me. But I say they are ever chasing after some new tale. That is, some enchantment of drunkenness, intoxication, that takes them far from truth. I say that I, the living God, do not call you to the silliness, the delusion, the drunkenness of such a way. But I say that I call you to walk soberly in my way. And I say that I call you to be made glad that you can indeed partake of the truth, the light, the mercy reveal. For I say it is me, the living God, who is ever present to give my word, to give my light, to give my truth to those who will believe upon me. That is, the ones who will be believing, they will be receiving of the truth, the light, and the mercy reveal. And I say when a people will cleave unto me, then yes, they are guided forth. And I say they are given the strength to continue in the way that is my life. But I say, when any will be adhering to that which is crafty invention, to that which is delusion, to that which is some new fabricated tale, I say they are living on lies. Now I say, this day that I the living God do not call my true ones to pervert the truth, to deviate from truth, truth, to take up some strange way. But I say that I call my people to be ever sober in me, redeeming the time. For I say, you are living in a time of gross intoxication and drunkenness, and men are swooning in the same. And I say they are taken far from truth because they love to lap up lies. Now I say this day when you consider how evil is the agenda of those who feed lies instead of truth, I say it is destruction of soul. For I say you are not meant to be eating of lies and partaking of the same day after day. For I say when a man is lapping up lies, he is literally taking in the seeds of destruction. And I say that he's going in a way that I did not intend nor provide. Now I say this day, be thankful that you can believe upon me, adhere unto me, and be ever guided in me. And I say, be thankful that I am the one who gives to you the light upon the path. For I say, when you will be accepting of that which I give you time and again, then I say, you are ever guided in me. And I say, you are given the strength, the truth, and the hope that I provide. 
Now I say this day when idle living God do intend that my people would be ever guided, directed, and corrected by me. It is that they would walk the straight and narrow way. For I say that I never intended for my people to spin out to go for and take up the way that is found under Babylon's Jesus. For I say that that way is the broad way and it is the way of destruction. And I say it is the way whereby men and women are victimized under the rule of the Jezebelian spirit that literally teaches them to hate and despise the truth. Now I say there are many in these times, instead of living and walking in the fear of me, I say they have contempt for me. And I say that they have contempt for my way, they do not want to adhere to the same. But I say instead they are ever adhering to fabricated invention, crafty tales, and of course the lies that are enchantments. And I say in the same they gain nothing at all except damnation of soul. For I say that I the living God do not intend that you would go in a way that is far from me and be overwhelmed in the same. But I say that I intend that you would be ever thankful to be brought forth guided in life. And I say that I intend that you would be ever thankful to be directed, corrected, and given the truth, the light, and the mercy revealed. For I say it is me, the living God alone, of all the gods who is able to keep my own. Now I say this day that I, the living God, am giving unto you the truth, the light, the mercy, and the strength that I provide. And I say that I am giving unto you the way wherein you are guided day after day. For I say that I never intended for you to end in a ditch and likewise be devoured. But I say that I've intended that you would come forth, may glad, ever thankful, to continue believing, trusting, and looking to me. For I say the way that I give is the way that is light, the way that is truth, and the way that is mercy provided. And I say when you are indeed accepting of my way, then you are guided forth by me. And I say when you are indeed accepting of my way, then you are given the truth and the light, the mercy, and the hope of who I am. For I say that I, the living God, will be ever present to guide forth the ones who cleave to me, believe upon me, and trust in my way. And I say that I will be ever present to give the blessedness, the strength, and the truth that can only be found through me. Now I say this day when you look upon what is before thee, I say it is the way that is life eternal. I say it is the way that is strength and hope and truth always. And I say when you will be accepting of that way, then yes, you are given newness of life. For I say that I, the living God, have no intention that my people would be under the oppression of the Jezebelian rule. But I say that I have every intention that my people would be ruled by me. But I say it is necessary that you be walking each day in the straight and narrow way of life. And I say if I, the living God, have corrected you, do not be as the dog who returns to eat up its vomit. But I say instead be walking in the newness of life the way that I give, ever thankful to be guided by me. For I say, so often my people become a weariness unto me, because they return again and again and again to sin. That is, to those things that I've instructed them to stray from, to turn away from, and to walk uprightly in me. I say this day, be glad that you are given light upon the path, that you are given strength and truth day by day. And I say, be thankful that in a time when there is great war going on in the spirit, that you can remain abiding in me. That is, not deviated, not entertained, or enchanted away from truth, but walking each day in the straight, the narrow way, the truth, the light, the strength of who I am. Now I say this day, be glad to continue trusting, believing, looking unto me, and knowing that it is me, the living God, you may look to day after day. For I say that I, the living God, do intend to put to rest, that is, in defeat those demon forces that have ruled in cruelty over the land. But I say, if men and women refuse to repent, then I say they will be devoured with the wicked. For I say in their stubbornness and their refusal of my hand of mercy, I say they are damned in the same. I say this day there is no other way that a man or a woman can be redeemed except through the way that I provide. Therefore I say be glad, be thankful each day that you may continue to look unto me, to believe in me and trust me, for I am the I am. That is, I am the truth, the light, the strength, and the hope given to any and all who believes upon me. And I say that I am the righteousness provided to all who want the way of life intended. For I say there is only one way that men are brought in out of the death, and that is through me. Now I say this day when you see the utter corruption that is being made evident, and there is no righteousness to be found, why is it so? I say it is because the fathers of the faith have gone a for many generations and deviated from the truth. 
And I say they have loved to lap up the enchantments and lies. They have loved delusion and falsehood. And I say they have loved their pretension whereby they have had their own way. And I say they have literally by their backsliding invoked and invited the rule of Jezebel. And she has come in like a domineering queen. And I say she sits enthroned in her own fatness and glory, thinking she remains forever. But I say when men and women will truly cry out in the spirit dimension for my righteousness restored, that I, the living God, will hear them when they cry. And I say it is me, the living God, who does lend my ear to the ones who walk uprightly in me. Therefore, I say, do not grow weary in well-doing, do not deviate from the pathway of life that I've put before thee. But I say, be ever faithful and true to obey, to walk in my way. And I say, be made glad even now for the privilege that you have been given to be ever guided, directed, corrected, and shown the light upon the path. And I say, be thankful even now to continue trusting, believing, looking unto me, for I am the I am. That is, I am the truth, the light, the mercy, and the strength provided to all who believe upon me. And I say that I am the way that is given to those who are trusting in that which I give them all of their days. Therefore, I say, be faithful, be true, be steadily trusting that it is me you can look to, believe in, and obey day after day. And I say, be made glad that I will give you my truth, my light, and my mercy, for I am well able to give to you the same. And I say that you do not need to be found in the way of the foolish, the way of the drunken, the way of fools. But I say you can be guided in soberness day after day. Now I say be glad even this day to continue the warfare, to continue to cry out, to continue to see souls brought in. That is, out of the domination of demons and under my life. For I say that I, the living God, do encourage you to continue in the straight and narrow way and find the life that I provide. For while the broad way is enticing, seducing, I say, remember that the same leads to destruction. And I say that all who go in the broad way as empty-headed fools will end up destroyed if they do not repent and return to my way. Now I say this day that the foolish will scoff the upright, will mock the ones who keep their first estate and make light of the way of my truth. And I say they will laugh their heads off at the thought of hell, yet I say the same is their reward. And I say they are liable to receive the wrath revealed in this life and the life to come. And I say it is because they have been on enchantment, delusion, and the madness of the saints. And I say it is because they are covered in the Jezebelian spirit of mockery and hatred for the truth. I say this day, beware the spirits of mockery, beware the spirits of hatred, beware those undermining spirits that would take your heart away from me. And I say, do not make a pact with evil and think that the same is justified, for I say it is nothing but the way of damnation. And I say, put aside from you the unfruitful works of darkness, do not be a partaker of the same. For I say, wheresoever you keep friendship with the world, you are literally in friendship with demons that have nothing but the agenda of death prepared for you. I say, do not go easy on Jezebel, not at all, for I say that her end is near. And I say that the ones who are found in her household, that is, who eat of her table, will be destroyed. I say, do not eat of the delusion, the lies, the crafty inventions, the fabricated tales. For I say, they are the food that is poisonous that she gives to her own. And I say she beckons for any and all to come to the table of death that she has prepared for the unsuspecting, the foolish, the drunken, who will partake of the same. I say this day, eat of the sobering bread that I give you day after day, and be thankful for the same. That is, that you are not enticed, seduced, and led astray, and taken out of my way. For I say at Jezebel's table, there is vomit all around as men and women have eaten to the full, then gorged themselves and eaten again. For I say they are eating of their own destruction and damnation of soul. I say this day do not, absolutely do not accept every enchantment as though it were the food that I give to my own. But I say be looking into my word, be abiding by my word, be following my word. For I say it is my word that will guide you in life. I say thank me and praise me this day that in me you are kept, directed, and corrected, and given the truth that I provide. For it is me, the living God, who is that it was very difficult for the righteous to be saved. In fact, Peter says in 1 Peter 4, 17 and 18, for the time has come for judgment to begin at the house of God. And if it begins with us first, what will the end be of those who do not obey the gospel of God? Of course, you're told today in the church you don't have to obey anything. Now, if the righteous are scarcely saved, or, or saved with great difficulty, that means, that's what that means, saved with great difficulty, where will the ungodly and the sinner appear? 
He goes on to warn us about the roaring lion and all the other things he does in fact. First epistle of Peter. Why would he say that salvation is extremely difficult and perilous, not certain, not a certain outcome, unless you endure to the end, unless he completely completely understood what the Messiah was teaching him when he walked with him? I say that the message they're preaching in the churches today has no semblance of the message that's in the Bible. Nothing. The message in the church today is basically believe and receive, confess and trust. It has nothing to do with repenting, obeying God, following or doing the right thing. It has nothing to do with it. All that stuff secondary. All of it. The sin never stops until... How long were you a slave?